Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. Today I wanted to do a little warm-up video that you could do um, prior to a workout or if you're just waking up in the morning, you just kind of want to move around a little bit. This is going to hit most of the major joints in the body. We're going to get into the spine a little bit. should help you to feel really good. So let's start on all fours. And what you'll do is push the ground away a little bit so you feel your core contract. One sec, one sec, okay. We're pushing the ground away, so you have a neutral spine, the core is contracted. And then keeping the core contracted, you're gonna lower just the chest, keep your arms straight, squeeze your shoulder blades together, and then push to the ground away. And we'll do this a couple of times. These are just some like um, modified scapular push-ups. Get a little bit of movement through the shoulder blades. One more. And then from here, we'll extend the right leg back behind you, curl the toes, press through the palms, try to reach the heel towards the ground. It's not going to go to the ground, but you have that intention. It gets you a nice stretch through the calf muscle. And you can kind of bounce back and forth if you like that, or you can hold it there, whatever feels really good to you. Then from here, let's come up and back into kind of a quick downward dog. Just pedal out the legs one side, then the other. And then we're going to switch sides. So rise up onto your tiptoes, ripple through your spine, and lower down onto the knees and extend the left leg back behind you. A little pulse back and forth, making sure you're not dumping into your shoulders. You really want to always push the ground away, keep the core integrated in this position. And then lift the hips up and back. Do a little pedal pedal. And then from here on your breath in, we'll step the right foot towards the front of your mat, lower down with the back knee, and then curl the toes and lift the hips up and back. You'll notice I'm coming up onto my heel here and lifting up the rest of the foot. You can keep that leg bent a little bit if you need to or intend to straighten. Try to have a somewhat neutral spine and we'll just kind of pulse down and up. So flat foot with the front and then lift that heel. And the modified version would look something like this. It doesn't have to be totally straight, but you just have that intention, and that's what helps to start open up through the flexibility. From here, we're going to lower down with just the hips and move up and down with the hips. And then the next time you come down, hold and sweep the right arm up towards the ceiling. Big stretch. And release. Let's take it to the other side. So step up and back, quick downward dog, and step forward with your left foot. Lower the back knee. Adjust whatever you need to adjust. And we'll do the same thing over on the other side. So you can hop that back foot forward a little bit if that feels good for you. And we're just kind of rocking and rolling here. The modified version would be something like this. Essentially, you're just trying to have a somewhat neutral spine and you're intending to find some straightening through the legs. Don't worry about how straight it is. Then we'll lower down through the hips and we'll go up and down with the hips. Pressing through the front heel, staying long with the back leg. Then the next time you come down, we'll sweep the left arm up towards the ceiling and lower down. Step up and back, downward dog. And then come forward onto your knees, lower all the way down onto your stomach. From here, spider your fingers off the mat, breathe in, and use your core and back muscles to lift up. So notice I'm not pushing down into my hands to straighten up. I'm just kind of using my core to lift and lower. Breathe in and lift and lower. It doesn't matter how high you go. Lift and lower. And from here, lower the left forearm down to the ground, and we'll bring the right foot towards your right glute, a little bit of a quad stretch. And notice I'm coming, kind of coming up off the right side of my torso. And then let's switch sides. And then release. We'll lower the head down, hands behind the head, Elbows down on the ground. Breathe in, lift the elbows up. Then reach the arms like you're making the letter Y, thumbs up. 
Lift up and over an imaginary object. Lower your hands as you flip your hands, so now palms are up, to your sacrum. Then lower the elbows, lift the elbows, lift the arms, reach out, make that letter Y, hands behind the head, lower the elbows. Lift the elbows, reach the arms, letter Y with thumbs up, reach back, flip the palms when you need to, hands to the sacrum, palms up, lower elbows. Lift the elbows, reach up and over, flip the hands when you're ready, hands behind the head, elbows down. From here, we flip over onto your back, and then hug your right knee in towards your chest, lengthen your left leg. Tuck your chin a little bit, so the back of your neck is nice and long. And then we'll do a nice twist, bringing the knee over towards the floor. Take a quick glance to your right. Reach your right shoulder towards the ground. And then release, and we'll take it to the other side. Now, the reason why we're not holding this for too long is because we're trying to keep this a dy somewhat dynamic um, warm-up, reaching left shoulder towards the ground. So if you hold a pose for too long, your muscles tend to power down. So if you're warming up for the day or you're warming up for a workout, you really want your muscles fired on and ready to work for you. Come back to center. Hug both knees in. We'll do a little... Shift side to side. And then hands under the knees, rock and roll to sit up. And we'll finish with a little twist, a little lateral uh, side bend. So take right hand down to the ground, reach up and over, and you'll send your ribs out to the side here. And then they stretch through your lat. And then breathe in, we'll take it over to the other side. Trying to stay long through the lower side as well. And rise up. Do a couple shoulder rolls. And release. That's our warm up. Thank you so much for practicing with me, and I hope to see you soon here on the Yoga by Candice YouTube channel.